Well, for one local woman, becoming a mom ended up launching her into a whole new career. It's crazy. From being a real estate agent to becoming an entrepreneur, all inspired by her son's skin condition. News 6 and 9's Carolina Cardona shows us how she went from selling houses to making soap to help get results for other Central Floridians. Natasha Birdgalen was a new mom in 2006 when she encountered an issue with her baby's skin. And since my son had really bad, you know, eczema and really dry skin and then he had this cradle cap, one of the first things I wanted to do was figure out how to get rid of it. That's when she turned to the internet for natural remedies. First thing that popped up was olive oil. But for me it was like the aha moment for me to use something natural as opposed to something that was, you know, pharmaceutical. From there I started making natural lotions and, and soaps and things like that. The Puerto Rican native went from being a real estate agent to becoming a girl boss. In 2011, she established Naked Bar Soap Company, and two years later, her best friend Jennifer Peets jumped on board as her business partner, becoming part of the global natural soap industry. Things that you would normally use to be healthy, like eating olive oil or coconut oil or things like that, using those um, oils, they're finding that you can also use them on your skin and that they're just as healthy for your skin as they are for the inside of your body. Handmade soap products are typically free of chemical additives and made with condiments most of us have in our kitchen. One of them is turmeric. Um, we use them in the soap. It's antibacterial, it's antifungal. We use cocoa butter. Um, we use cocoa powder, so we use that to color the soaps, cinnamon, coffee grounds. According to MarketResearch.com, more and more people in the U.S. are turning to this alternative for everything from soap, body scrubs, and bath bombs to other natural body products. You think that their number one product is the variety of soaps that they have here, but the owners tell me that it's actually their natural deodorants, which are also handmade right here at the store. She also gets results through workshops. There's olive oil in here, there's coconut oil, there's shea butter. Today she's teaching me how to make a soap bar. We're going to do about a tablespoon of grapefruit essential oil into the soap. I then added to the batch oatmeal grains and calendula. It's dried marigold known to have healing properties. It actually is one of the few um, plants that you can put into soap and it won't turn brown. It'll keep its yellow oh, wow. color. And because these soaps have no preservatives, Natasha says you have up to two years to use them, which is why she keeps a friendly reminder for those who use them as decor. We have a wall that says the soap is not just for decoration. Please use it. <laughs> Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. That yeah. is beautiful. And yes. you can go out there and take classes on how to make bath bombs or even body scrubs, which I love. Yes. And uh, you can do one or both. So it sounds like a great party idea. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Get your friends all together and go make some bath bombs. And I like how she does mention soap is not a decoration. That's true. <laughs> because, I mean, how many times do you go someplace you're like, ooh, am I not allowed to use that bar <laughs> soap or am I? So... But it's, it's interesting and it's amazing that, you know, she's a mom, so already her life was so busy and she says, you know what, I'm going to find something that's not only going to help my son, but other people. A lot of people Just, have sensitive skin, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, very much.